Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to easily transfer your important files and settings from your old PC to your new one. I'm going to be using Windows Easy Transfer. Easy Transfer is available for XP and Vista also, but you have to go to Microsoft's website to download it. You don't need to download it if you're using Windows 7 or 8 as it's already included with the install. And I'm going to be using Windows 7 in VirtualBox for this video. I have two different operating systems running. This is the PC that I'll be transferring the files from. And as I said, I also have another Windows 7 machine that I'll be using as the new PC. So I'm going to start by going to the Start menu. And in the search box, I'm going to type Easy. And there it is up at the top highlighted, so I'm just going to hit Enter. When the welcome screen opens, it shows you what all can be transferred. Your user accounts, documents, music, pictures, email, internet favorites, videos, and more. And I'm going to click Next. It's asking me how I'm going to transfer the files. I'm going to use an external hard drive, so I'm going to click on this. And now it's asking, is this my new computer or my old computer? I'm going to click on this as my old computer. And now it's going to begin scanning and seeing what files can be transferred. This won't take very long for me because this is in a virtual machine, but if you're not in a virtual machine and you have a lot of files saved, this could take a little while. So just be patient. And it's finished. And you can see there's some customized links here. If you click on that, you can select what you want to have transferred. And I'm going to click Next. You can give a password if you'd like. I'm not going to for the video. I'm just going to click save and go on. Now I need to select a location where I'm going to save the file. So I'm going to select my external hard drive. I'm going to hit save. And now it's going to begin saving the files and settings. And again, if you have a lot of files saved on your computer, this might take a little while. It's only going this fast because I'm in a virtual machine that I haven't saved anything on. And it says the save is complete, so I'm going to click Next. It's telling me that my file is located on the E drive. And I'm going to click Next. And then Close. Now I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to bring up my other Windows 7 machine. And then here I have a folder. This is the new PC. So now I'm going to go to the start menu. I'm going to type in easy. And there it is up top. I'm going to hit enter. When the welcome screen opens, I'm going to click next. I'm doing the transfer from my external hard drive, so I'm going to click on this one. This is my new computer, so I'm going to click on this. And now it's telling me to plug in my external hard disk, and then after I have it plugged in, to click yes. So I'm going to click yes. I need to select the location where I saved the file to, and that was my external hard drive. And now I need to select my save file, which is right here, Windows Easy Transfer. So I'm going to click on that. Here you can choose what to transfer. Again, you have the customize link that will allow you to choose what's going to be transferred and what's not. I'm just going to leave the box checked for everything and I'm going to click transfer. And a good way to see this is watch the desktop background here. And this will not work going from a 64-bit version to a 32-bit version. You can't transfer files that way. I'm not sure if you can do it from a 32 to a 64, but I know you can't from a 64 to a 32. Remember, if you have a lot of files saved, this could take a while, so just be patient and let it go. The desktop background should change here. There it goes. There's my folder document and the icon off the desktop from the old PC. And the great thing about this, too, is any folders that you already had on your new PC, they remain intact. It doesn't get rid of them as it transfers your old files. After it's finished you can see what was transferred. You can also see a list of programs that you might want to install on your computer after the transfer. 
I'll go to see what was transferred first. It says I had one user account transferred and I had 73 documents transferred. I'll close this out and I'm going to go to the next one here. And it's not giving any recommendations on what to install afterwards. So I'm just going to close that out. And then I'm going to click close. And then you have to restart the computer for the changes to take effect. I'm going to click restart now. And the computer's restarted. And once again, here's our folder, our icon for the Internet Explorer, and then our file here that came from the old PC. Here's the new PC folder that's still intact. So this is a nice easy way to transfer your old files to your new PC. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.